she's gone again. I bet she's run off. Wow, your daddy sounded very uh, positive on the phone. They just needed to sit down together and have a proper grown-up talk. How long does it take? I bet they've used up all the words in the world. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine, love. Yeah, listen, um, will you do me a favour? Will you get me another cup out of the kitchen? Because this one's chipped. OK, seeing as it's you. No. You're going to have to go round there. I know. Come in. Leon! Hey. Oh. Can't tell you how happy I am you're back together again. I mean, I take it you are... Uh... Yeah. yeah. You're not going to go away again, are you? No. Promise? I promise. Oh, right, come on then, matey boy. Best leg it up them stairs, get your stuff packed. Yeah, because we are going on our honeymoon. We're going to Cyprus! Oh. <laughs> it's not banana! <laughs> hey. <laughs> Peter tells me this was all down to you. Ah, I wouldn't say that. Well, I know it was you who persuaded him to give me another chance. You've both been brilliant. Don't be daft. I've put you through hell. Yet here you both are. Great. Well, thanks for letting me know. Who was that? Bank. Loan's come through. Hey, finally. They're not going to pay me the full amount. Why not? Because they don't feel like it, who knows? So where does that leave us then, baby? Well, I can pay the credit card bills and I can pay Owen and get him off me back, but I'm afraid Lloyd is going to have to wait. He's not going to like that. Tell me about it. Mm. Listen, we are really under the cosh here, so no more spending, which means no more new clothes and no more nights out. Well, I know I can save a couple of quid anyway. We'll just cut the wages, Bill. And how are we going to do that? Get shut of Tracy. Nice try. You know it's not going to happen. It's going to be a nightmare working with her, you know. She's such a flaming cow. Becky, we have been through this. If she's got a job, then she's more likely to stick around and I still get to see my daughter. I know. Come on, dear. You remember meeting uh, Owen at the shop to choose the fittings? You don't need me for that. Honestly, honey, why do people keep sending me this garbage? What is it? Well, this is, a, uh, is my chance to invest in a charming limited edition cat figurine. Yeah, we got uh, a cat in a bucket, cat in a hat, and cat chucking up a fur ball. <laughs> Devendra Allahan. Now, does that sound like a cat-obsessed old woman to you? Eh? Oh, no, don't be ridiculous. Oh. It's not only little old women who love cats, the twins would love one. Yeah, right, over my dead. What is it? No, it's, um, it's not, it's just, uh, stuff, you know, it's a recycling bin. There you go, Chesa. It's me, that is. For hire? The one with the van? Uh-huh. You ain't got a van, have you? No, but you have. All oh, right. You don't mind me, um, borrowing it again, do you? Try and rush up a few quid? Oh, no, I use it a fair bit myself. Yeah, and the rest of the time it's sitting idle. There you go. Hey, that girlfriend of yours not feeding you? Oh, she eats flipping muesli. It's horrible. Like somebody's sticking hamster's cage. Mm, dead healthy, though. We should get some of that in for Faye. Yeah. Hey, I'll try and pop round and say hello later on, if you like. Oh, thanks, love. Hey, talking of which, Roy, can I have a word? Certainly. Right, I know my shift is supposed to be finishing at three, but I wondered if I could go a bit earlier. Faye's coming. Uh, is this the young lady who may become your daughter? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's ah. stopping over for the first time, bless her. Oh, hey, momentous day. You, you must go whenever you need. Ah, oh, thanks, Roy. I've got the collar bubbles like you wouldn't believe. Oh, dear. Do you know, deep down, I never really thought that this would happen. I didn't think we'd be allowed. Well, why not? You're perfectly decent people. Yeah, but we've had our moments in the past, especially Eddie. He's always been a bit of a... Oh, you know what? What's that word? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Maverick, that's it. Yeah, does things his own sweet way. Indeed. Mm. But you know, he's got a good heart. As have you. Oh, Roy. Oh, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. You must be going soft in your old age. Well, I, I have every admiration for you. you. You, you're doing a very fine thing, giving a home to one of life's lost souls. Well, this is very civilised, isn't it? I'm in breakfast with my lovely grandson. Yeah. 
Mind you, I'd be much happier if we were dining on French pastries in the Midland Hotel. <laughs> what can you do? Roy! Two sausage bats, please, to take out. And don't be stingy with that brown sauce. All right? Mm. Yeah, and get off, all right? Oh, you haven't heard then. She didn't go. You wanted me up? No, I'm telling you. She changed her mind at the last minute. And you can take that lovesick look off your face and all. She's back with Peter. I say, it is a proper schlep to borrow Carver Terrace. When's this place opening? Um, I'm not sure. Hopefully soon. It's Jeff wondering where I am. Right. You'll think it's pathetic, but I hack. Have you not been in there since it happened? Stupid, really. No. No, it's not. This is a big thing, Miss. You could have died in there. Molly wasn't so lucky, was she? Come here. Right, give us your hand. We are going to nail this bad boy. <coughs> you ready? One, two. Well, at last. Hello. I'm sorry, I, I was feeling a bit... Is it me or is it really cold in here? It's going to be in here, love, because it's been empty for ages. Yeah. Makes you wonder, doesn't it, if what they say is true? When something really terrible happens, some tragedy, it leaves a sort of memory trap forever. Honey, that's just silly superstition, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. There's no left. The place was totaled, so even if that is true, this isn't your old shop. Yeah. It's a totally, totally new one. I can still hear her crying, you know. It's just your imagination, hon. It's my memory. To think she actually died in here. Yeah. What was going through her mind? It doesn't do to dwell on these things, right? Yeah, that is just going to do your head in. Probably baby Jack. Terrified about leaving him behind. Now, listen. Okay, now, I know it seems wrong to set up shop here again like nothing's happened. I know, right? It sounds harsh, but life has to go on, yeah. right? Yeah. Your old man's talking sense here, for once. Yeah. And we've got to be practical. We've taken a massive hit financially, and somebody's stealing from us. It, that didn't help. I know. I keep thinking of me lying there. Terrified I was about to take my last breath. And someone, someone we knew, took money from us. Like Dev says, it doesn't do to dwell on these things. I know. I'm sorry. Come here. But you're still here, my love. Hmm? Mm. Come on. And every single day, I thank my lucky stars. Do you know? Hiya. Hiya. Just come back with cake, Ron. Oh. Hey, you're always here, you. Yeah, we should start charging your rent. <laughs> Have you been experimenting with tie-dye? Well, you do right. Crafts, very therapeutic. Well, this on your T-shirt. Yeah, I just put it in the washer and it came out, Ron. Hot chuck to go. Enjoy. Ta. Hey, Roy, uh, did you see that documentary last night? It'd be right up your street. Uh, uh, was that the one about the Humboldt squid? One good thing about living on your own. No arguments over the telly. Uh. Should have seen me with remote, flicking from channel to channel. Power went to me. Mm. I hate living on my own. I can't stop talking to myself. Shall we have a bath, Julie? No, not now. Maybe later. Would you like a Maltese? Oh, I don't mind if I do. Well, it suits me down to the ground. You know, I've got my tunes, got my telly. Sometimes stick the radio on in the bedroom so it sounds like someone else is in there. But... So it's good. It's all good. See you later. Morning. Yeah. He went in. We, we can't agree on the fittings. I like these, and Dev likes these. Ooh, pricey. Yeah. yeah. I know, typical Dev, nothing but the best. Yeah. Well, before we go any further, I really could do with being paid for the work done so far. I mean, it's way overdue, Dev. Oh, yeah. You've had one instalment already. Yeah, but that was that was a while ago, Dev. I've done loads of work since. Whoa, this guy. H hasn't the insurance company settled it yet? Huh. <laughs> Have you not chased them up? <laughs> Why? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I went out on the call as soon as I get home. Honey. I'm sorting it. Well, you're not, are you? Yeah. I went to work flat out. The least we can do is make sure he's paid on time. Listen, Owen, tell you the truth, 
Some of your invoices, they seem just a little steep. Yeah, well, everything's itemised. You can see yeah. everything that you're I, paying for. Uh, just a little steep, just a little too expensive, you know? Right, then. Well, if if that's how you feel, yeah. then can I suggest that me and you go down to the yard now and we can get this ironed out? What, well, today? Yeah. Today, really, it's not convenient. Dev, really. we've got to deal with this straight away. We can't <laughs> delay the opening of the shop. Shall we? Come on, oh. come on. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Where's Leanne? Don't know, mate. Where is she? Oh, she's only popped to the shops for a few bits. Don't worry. Hey, did you get that red T-shirt? Fauna, tell her to come on. Hey, look, she's in the house. Don't worry. Ah. Oh. Hey, what's the matter? I thought you'd gone. I told you she'd only gone to the shops. I thought you'd gone. Hey, you silly sausage. I'm not going anywhere without you. You did, though. You nearly did. And there's the receipt for the plasterboard. There it is. Yes, Itemised on your invoice. Are you even listening to Owen? Oh, I'm sorry. The invoices, they all seem in place. Yeah, yes. so you'll be able to settle. Well, of course, yes. I'm going to send you a cheque as soon as. Right? So if you could just finish the job... As soon as. As soon as possible. Yeah, when exactly? You're already two weeks over, you. Owen, Owen, we are neighbours. There is no need to get heavy about this. I, I think we'd better go back to your place now and you can run right, and I would love to, but, you know, I'm running late. I need to get into town. I've got to talk to banks. Fine, but... then I'll ask your wife. Hey, look, let's just leave Sunita out of this, shall we? <laughs> Do you know, if I didn't know any better yeah. when you weren't neighbours, I'd yeah. say you've no intention of paying me. I mean, I don't want you going around hassling Sunita. And I said I will pay, and I will pay. Great, and until then I'm going to down tools. Yeah, and, and we need to get that shop up and running because it's my livelihood. If you don't get me that check tonight, mate, I'm going to take everything back. Okay. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Okay, sorry. Every plank of wood, every piece of plasterboard, I am going to take your shop apart, Dev. And believe me, that is only the start of it. <laughs> Tyrone, you are a lifesaver. I just nipped home to put a wash on, and I've got a malfunctioned. Water everywhere. Me knee deep in fuchsia sludge. Well, there's a laundry on Tile Street. Oh, you know, them sundry watch my smells off sleigh. Oh, very funny about things like that. <sighs> you don't mind, do you? I brought my own washing powder. <laughs> oh! Well, I can stick a few bits of yours. No, in no, it no, it's fine, it. honestly. It's... Oh, don't worry. I've seen it all before. Men hold no mystery for me. <sighs> oh, I've arrived just in the nick of time, by the looks of things. Somebody's a stranger to a mop and bucket. Oh, Juliet, I'm fine, honestly. There's oh, no need to start. Look, our washing's all intermingled. Oh, you'll have to marry me now. <laughs> hey, we've been invited to the casino tonight. Who has? Lloyd and Steve and me and you. It's one of our accounts. Brilliant. Yeah, because we can really afford to throw money away, can't we? Uh, free dinner plus wine and 100 quid's worth of complimentary gambling chips. 50 quid per couple. Oh, bring it on! Yeah, look, I'm not really sure I'm in the mood, so... Well, I am, you boring old beggar. It's free. We should fill his boots. Yeah, look, um, can I just have a quick word with Lloyd? Oh, yeah. Shazza, come here. I need a girl to chat with you. Um, bottle of lager bag crisps. Um, that loan's come through, but there's been a bit of a shortfall. Right. So I'm sorry, um, but streetcars are going to have to wait for a bit longer. How come we're the bottom of the list? Yeah, it's just the way things worked out. Uh, but it's not, though, is it? You've made a decision to pay everybody else first, and I want to know why. Well, you'll get your money, you know you will. Yeah, when? I'll pay in instalments. Yeah, I'll get a pen and paper, and I'll work it out. Hey, Alex, get them down your necks. You need to put a line in your stomach for tonight. <laughs> Duh. Have you got my swimming trunk? Yeah. All with the shorts on them? Yeah. Put them on my shades? Oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Tom Cruise. How about that? Whoa. Oh, no, the sun's gone out. <laughs> wow, how cool do you look? Too cool for some girls. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me, Dave. You've been friendly. Nah, no, I do my best. Kill me. Oh. Do you mind? I've got age, yeah, long. Oh, I'm very sorry, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, I hope you weren't sneaking off without saying tra. Tra. <laughs> tra. Oh. <laughs> Oh, bye, love. Have a brilliant, brilliant time. Peter? Yeah? You enjoy this holiday. Try to shake off the hurt and the pain and uh, leave it where it belongs in the past. 
Yeah, well, if all else fails, at least I'll get a decent sum, Tammy. Hey, come here. Right. Oh, that's it. Are you in? I'm in. <laughs> See ya. Bye. 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 Oh, bye. Oi! Silverfly. Oh, here we go. They're making a go of it. No thanks to you. Yeah, one benefit of not being with Leanne anymore is that I don't have to look at your ugly mug or listen to you spouting off spreading your poison. So it's not all bad. Vacuum over this front room. Look okay, over, it's all right. I can still see remnants of you, not clusters. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Well, the angel coat's gone all saggy in the middle. It's a disaster. You've got great clods hanging off your hair. Yeah, should have worn a shower cap. Oh, it's a right old faff, is this? I'm going to have to start all over again now. Oh, no, you don't. You can help me clear this place up. Oh, I, I, I bet this place is a palace compared to what she's used to. I don't care. I want it nice. Look, kids like a bit of dirt. It's homely. Oh, you do talk rubbish. I want everything to just right for her. I told you. Well, it's good for the immune system. I read that in a magazine. All right, so it must be true then. Right up there with an alienate, my brother. I'm only saying. Well, we need less saying and a lot more doing. So get a cloth and some bleach. Let's see some elbow grease. I want this place shining like a new pin. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Simon's little face this morning. Bless him. I know. Oh, I just hope that's it now. I don't think my nerves could take much more. Uh, Peter and Leanne love each other, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I uh, still worry about them, though. Some things are just hard to forgive. Well, there's no innocent parties in this. They've both made mistakes. Mm -hmm. Michael's, you mean. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah, I know we've had our moments, but... Whatever happened in the past, the outcome's still the same. We always end up back here, together. For better or for worse. Like a couple of homing pigeons. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. Edison didn't have any uh, butternut squash soup, so... Good. Where's all our money? What's happened to our savings? There's nothing left, not one single penny. Nice, it's, it's fine, you know. Honestly, I've just been moving some things around. And, you know, the interest rate on that account, it was just... I'm not rubbish. stupid. Not... Tell me the truth. Listen, I'm really sorry. What have you done? Look, I was just hoping I could find a way of fixing it, you, you What? Know? Because I've just made a mistake. It's just like a, a really silly, really costly... For mistake. God's sake, just the tell shop me! The wasn't insured! Uh, have you got anything left to eat, Becca? Wow, what's this? Late lunch, early tea? Late lunch, it's been one of them days. Um, I think I've got a couple of cheese sarnies left. That sandwiches will be fine, thanks, sweet. All right, but Here, yeah, get yourself on there, I'll bring it over. There you oh. go, mm. Somebody's not a happy bun, eh? I just saw Leanne and Peter off on the hand of me. Oh. Looks so happy. Nick, I know it's not easy, but you've got to try and stop pining for her. Oh, it's going to be agonising seeing those two together all the time. I also pack my bags now. No, why should you? There's nothing here for me. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's been lovely being with my family and everything, but everything else... Sweetheart, we can help you through all this. I've lost my business and the love of my life. I know it looks like that now, darling, but come on. You're still young. Plenty of time to meet someone. And I'll bet in five years' time you'll look back and you'll wonder what on earth you saw in her. Hello, Faye Love. Come in. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Sit yourselves down and take the weight off you. <laughs> I'll stick the kettle on. Oh, lovely. Don't expect too much on the first visit. She's... Feeling a bit overwhelmed. Oh, of course not, yeah. She was in tears on the way over. Oh, why? When you've had as many knockbacks as she has, I think part of her is half expecting to be rejected. We're totally committed to making this work out. Me and Eddie. I know, I know. It's just a defence mechanism. Okay. Would you like...
like some juice, Faye? OK. How about a biscuit to go with? I've got some lovely chocolate ones in the tin. Why don't I stick your bag on the... No! Stuff? Don't touch my stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, I just thought Faye. you... Faye, it's all right. Just don't touch my stuff. You can't believe it. How could you let it happen? How? Mm -hmm. You know, I filled in the forms, I wrote the cheque. I forgot to post it. We've rebuilt the shop brick by brick, and this is how you've been paying for it with our savings. No, I had no choice. We didn't have that much saved up, did we? Certainly not enough to pay for that amount of work. Mm. You know, I had to juggle things around a bit. And I had to find the money from somewhere. Honey, I'm like a little bit behind on the rent for the other shops. Oh, but this just gets worse. Please tell me the house is OK. And we're up to date on the mortgage. For God's sake, not the house! Darling, you were still recovering. I didn't want to bother you. I had made some bad decisions. But I didn't know where to turn. So you're telling me we could lose everything, including the house? Coronation Street continues in...